Thanks very much, Bruce, and uh, thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen, for that uh, very uh, pleasant welcome. Michael Jackson is the beer hunter. Yep, my name really is Michael Jackson, but uh, I don't sing or dance, at least uh, not until I've had a few more beers. For more than 30 years, he has traveled the world looking for the most flavorful beers, whiskeys, and spirits, investigated the ways in which they are made and served, and tried to describe the individual pleasures they offer. Anybody know what kind of chocolate they put in here? They put, have you heard of French, uh, French chocolate called Valrhona? Michael has been hailed by the Wall Street Journal as the world's leading beer critic. Michael's first book on the subject, The World Guide to Beer, which was first published in 1977, introduced many European beers to the U.S. for the first time. The book also made consumers aware of the need to appreciate beers according to their style and made popular the concept of individual taste descriptions. Creamy, vanilla-like. His books have been translated into 18 different languages and total sales exceed 3 million copies worldwide. He has written countless magazine articles and has tasted more than 5,000 beers on six continents. He is well known in Belgium and his native England, but is regarded as a hero by many American brewers and beer enthusiasts. A tireless promoter of beer, his tasting events attract packed houses. I love the book and the cook, and I love Michael Jackson. He's my therapist. That's a kind of a special relationship you've got with Michael. You want to elaborate on that a little bit? Michael taught us that drinking beer is a very healthy thing. It helps us digress. Michael Jackson is widely regarded as one of the fathers of the beer renaissance and has been a strong supporter of American microbrews and brew pubs. Through his writing, he brought back from extinction styles such as oatmeal stout and brought a new popularity to styles that have been obscure, such as imperial stout, Irish red ale, and Belgian saison. Michael devised, wrote, and presented on screen the popular television series The Beer Hunter, which was shown in more than 20 countries. He's appeared on Late Night with Conan O'Brien and every major morning network news show. He's written for men's magazines such as Playboy and GQ in America and Esquire in Great Britain. Are you a Michael Jackson fan? Michael Jackson fan all the way. Yeah? Woo -hoo! Prove it. <laughs> Michael is a professional member of the prestigious James Beard Foundation, has lectured at the Smithsonian Institute and the Culinary Institute of America, and hosts an annual lecture and tasting at the National Geographic Society. Such a combination of wine ideas and beer ideas as one finds in uh, Malad Root Reserve. Uh, he is also a regular judge at the World Beer Cup and the Great American Beer Festival and taken part in judgings at festivals from Alaska to Australia. He has consistently attracted the largest audiences for 14 years now as a speaker at Philadelphia's Book and the Cook. How many years have you been to this event? Uh, this is my ninth year in a row uh, to the Book and the Cook Fair with Michael Jackson. So you've seen Michael all, all uh, nine times? All nine times, and, and every year I look forward to it. Never get tired of Michael, eh? I never. Never get tired of him. He, he's always uh, fresh, uh, interesting, and fun. Many of his fans in the beer world, however, are unaware of the fact that Michael is also one of the world's foremost experts and authors on the subject of whiskey. Quite dry. I, mean, it, I think it's first. He is the author of The Complete Guide to Single Malt Scotch, the world's best-selling book about whiskey, 
writes a monthly column for Whiskey Magazine, judges festivals and events around the world, and reviews hundreds of whiskeys each year for his best-selling books. In recognition of his efforts, he was recently honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award by Whiskey Magazine in London. In addition, he has been awarded the Belgian Mercurius Award by the Crown Prince of Belgium for services to Belgian beer. Michael has given beer a voice, a voice that is humorous, informative, and sometimes surprising, a voice that has changed people's perception of beer. As a reporter, Michael is always on the front lines, traveling widely and reporting on new styles, new breweries, and exciting new brewers. I've been brewing professionally about eight years. I'm seven at this location. Michael has accomplished much, but he'll be the first to tell you that there is more to do, that great beer is deserving of the same accolades as great wine, and that great brewmasters are the creative equivalent of the best winemakers. Two fermentations or three fermentations? Three fermentations. The day may come when beer and wine share equal respect, but Michael will tell you it hasn't happened yet and don't look for him to slow down while he pursues that quest. Look for him at your nearest festival or beer event and don't be surprised if you spot him at your local pub. <laughs>